If you are like me and been having massive issues when it comes to Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 with stuttering since Sim Update 2 has arrived. Sim Update 1 was a great, but when Sim Update 2 arrived, I couldn't taxi into an airport terminal without my Sim turning into a massive slideshow. If this is you, stick around as I'll show you how I fixed my stutters within Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 with just a couple of minor changes. Before we dive in into exactly how bad my stutters got and how I fixed them, here's a quick word from this video sponsor, Flight Sim Mods. If you are still here and you haven't decided to leave the video and click onto something else after my very intriguing and exciting intro, this video has been brought to you by Flight Sim Mods. Flight Sim Mods is a mod store. We started ourselves on the Oz Flight Simmer channel last year in 2024. We make a great flight sim add-ons for your home flight simulator cockpit setups made by flight sim enthusiasts such as myself for flight sim enthusiasts. All our products are high quality. Uh, we don't ship anything out that we wouldn't pay for ourselves. And we currently have 45 plus products in at the store, including such as mounts, stands, throttle sets for Turtle Beach, Wing Wing, Honeycomb, and more. You could use code AFS10 if you like something in the store so you can receive a little bit of discount. And we ship all over the globe absolutely free. And you can check out the store link in the description below. You won't be disappointed and thank you to Flight Sim Mods for supporting this video. Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 tends to utilize your graphics card VRAM more than the 2020 sim did with my 4080 GPU. The 2024 sim appears to run smoothly on my system with Sim Update 1 and when I was able to stream from one PC without any trouble with that update. Once Sim Update 2 came along, I found that my system on Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 is trying to utilize more of my GPU VRAM to the point that my sim will not work at all. And it's even worse when I'm streaming as when I'm streaming, I'm using extra programs at that time for the stream itself. I knew that this was a sim optimization problem, but with long waits between sim updates and perhaps sim update 3 beta wasn't really showing much hope to resolve this, I started to look at different settings and even at my OBS settings for my streams to maximize the optimization of my current settings. Some of the things that I did try was reinstalling Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 from scratch, trying Sim Update 3 Beta, playing around with all my global settings, which were pretty much a standard setting as most things uh, were set on to high to medium to start with, reducing at the screen resolution from my 4K that I could use in the Sim Update 1 to 2K to 1080p, messing around with with NVIDIA settings, including frame generation, watching countless hours of YouTube videos to see if I could find that magic potion to fix my stuttering mess issues with the 2024 sim. This led me to a test stream after another setting change and I hoped this was going to fix the problem. Flying into LAX with the i9 builds version with the Phoenix A320, the closer I got to the airport, the more the VRAM usage I received and the stutters were there. As soon as the wheels touched the ground, we were basically a slideshow again. There was one setting I hadn't tried yet, which was dynamic settings. I knew what it was, but I was too proud to use it as I've been messing around with flight sim settings for over 15 years. What I currently have should work. Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 dynamic settings automatically adjust your sim graphic settings on the fly with a desired frame rate in mind that you choose for visual quality. It will adapt your terrain load and your object LOD and other primary settings to maintain the desired frame rate on the fly. Basically, it will adjust your settings to void stutters. Yes, it will reduce the quality of your sim settings and the quality of your visuals, but in my opinion, that is way better than not using the sim at all. 
I first started using the dynamic settings at a minimum of 50 frames per second and conducted the same flight into LAX with the Phoenix. This time it was a smooth as a buttering landing on a Sunday morning. Excellent, it did not stutter on the approach, but what I did notice it did drop off at the airport and the surrounding area graphics setting qualities, which was too much to my liking. It didn't look that good. Next, I went the other way and I placed the desired frame rate at a minimum of 35 frames per second. This introduced the quality of the airport back in the sim, but it did introduce a little bit of stutters. Nothing like it was before, but it did introduce them. The next attempt was at 40 FPS as the desired frame rate minimum, and I found this was the optimal solution. The graphic quality and the frame rates were pretty good in the VRAM uses areas such as a larger airports and terminals. As you can see here, looking at the airport, it does look pretty good. Don't get me wrong, I'm still getting 60 to 80 frames when it comes to GA flying or cruising in an airliner um, at the cruise altitude or in smaller airports, but dynamic settings come into play when your sim is needing to avoid the damage of the 2024 stutters. Now I'm back up to running a 4K stream and a 4K sim and in large VRAM usages such as LAX, we have gone down from 13 gig to nine to 10 gigabytes of VRAM usage. You could be running a 3070 GPU or a 5090 GPU still receiving stutters in 2024. I've heard of all stories and I've had my own nightmares. Switching on dynamic settings will help the stuttering mess in 2024. And I hope the Microsoft Flight Simulator team soon improves the optimization of the 2024 sim. If you are suffering from stutters, give this a go and let us know in the comments below how did you win? Did it help you out? I would love to hear about it. Subscribe to this video if it helps you out and it will help us reach that 100,000 subscriber mark. Thank you to Flight Sim Mods for sponsoring this video. I'll leave a link in the description below to check those out and I will see you in another video real soon.